The musical episode is called Salvatore the Musical. Salvatore the Musical. Yeah, it's a musical about the founding of the school. What did Danielle Rose Russell think about having to sing on screen? How did Kaylee Bryant and Krista Sean Lee go one step further in preparing to take the stage? And what did Jenny Boyd do to overcome her insecurities about not having a musical background like her co-stars? Hi, I'm Joy, and let's jump into it. I want to see the Vampire Diaries cast react to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Danielle Rose Russell. There be sweet dreams to carry. It's always fun when a TV show changes up the pace by doing something different and exciting. Legacies, following in the footsteps of other popular shows like Riverdale, tried their hand at shaking things up with a musical episode. In the episode, the Supernatural students are singing their hearts out in a school talent show, and the sheer amount of actual talent involved led fans to ask the same question. Were the Legacies cast really singing or not? You'd be happy to know that the answer is yes. While several of the actors have histories in musical theatre, others, like Danielle Rose Russell, were more than willing to give singing a shot. After all, her father is a former singer. Luckily, it seems like the apple didn't fall far from the tree. When asked about debuting her singing voice on the show, Danielle admitted that she had never done anything like it before. I got to sing. I've never done that before, so it's definitely stepping outside of my comfort zone. Even though she wasn't immune to any nerves, Danielle did add that it was some of the most fun she'd ever had on the show. I kind of take a step back in the episode. I'm not really, that's not really Hope's thing whatsoever. Um, and Landon wants to be very involved in it. For those who don't know, Danielle actually pursued regional theater when she was younger, appearing in several school plays in school. What's worth noting is the comments under the video. Looks like someone either knew what was coming or put the idea out there in the universe because exactly a year after they suggested Danielle sings on Legacies, it actually happened. Ben Levin. I was honored to depict the great brooding Paul Wesley. No one else auditioned for Stefan. Yes. I definitely studied that man's eyebrows and hopefully some of that'll, you know, make its way into the footage. Ben Levin, who has played Werewolf Jed since the first seasons, recently got bumped up to the Legacy's main cast in season three, and now we're finally going to see a brand new side to him, especially in the musical episode. Like the fans, Ben was very excited to explore his character a little deeper, especially since we normally only see Jed in the gym. Ben also noted that Jed did come forth as a bully with repressed feelings, and in the musical episode, we got to see his sensitive side. Something you might not have known is the cast actually started working on the musical episode all the way back in March 2020. Ben said that started by recording the songs, which not only made later rehearsals easier, but also more fun. By the time they started focusing on the live-action portion of the musical, the songs had been sitting around for more than six months. Even though production was halted by COVID and the actors were stuck at home, they had plenty of time to attend virtual dance rehearsals for their musical numbers. Ben, who also records music in his spare time, said he especially enjoyed getting to collaborate with Chris to Sean Lee in a brand new way. Most of all, he loved being in a booth with Chris, who's known doing music of his own, but more on that in a second. For Ben, it was exciting to share a space with Chris and to blend their singing styles together. With both of them having grown up in musical theatre and both essentially making names for themselves on Legacies, it seems they've got a lot in common. Might we be seeing a collaboration in the future? Who knows? Kaylee Bryant her sister gives her a bit of a nudge to do it, but I think once Josie gets into the swing of things, she has quite a bit of fun in the musical. In the musical episode, we saw Josie take on the role of the one and only Elena Gilbert before being unable to perform, and Danielle, or Hope, taking over for her. Nonetheless, Kaylee got to show us exactly what her voice was made of, and honestly, she is really not all that bad. This shouldn't come as a surprise, of course, and Kaylee also hails from a musical theatre background. Kaylee even admitted that both she and Chris missed the stage so much, they actually did full blown rehearsals in a ballet studio with professional dancers to get back into the groove. Because there's so much going on in the musical episode, Kaylee said that she was glad they were able to play around a little, especially since they were all singing, every single one of them. And so I'll read a book, or maybe two or three. The show's choreographer, Billy Rue, said the showrunners were glad to have so many actors with hidden talents to work with. Because they knew Kaylee could sing, they decided they had to work around that. 
standing in the shadows I thought that I earned. But just because she has a background in musical theatre, it didn't mean Kaylee wasn't open to bettering her talents. She's actually been training vocally with Adriana McPhee for a while, and that really helped when it came to writing and selecting the songs for the musical episode. Kaylee said that Thomas Brandon, who wrote all the music for the episode, would send her a song and she'd have to decide whether or not the key was going to work for her. If not, they'd tweak each of the songs until they fit into her range, which was something she never thought she'd be able to do. In a change I would see in us both. Mm -mm, there's a huge fucking spider on my wall. One thing Kaylee didn't hesitate to speak up about was how the cast never took themselves too seriously and always resorted to having fun. When they started the episode pre-COVID, they were doing big musical numbers with massive audiences. But after the pandemic, when things got a little tight, they really had to take things a little more serious. An interesting thing she also mentioned was how the magic of TV made it look like all the actors were being filmed together when in fact they were seriously social distancing throughout the musical numbers. Of course, one thing a lot of fans want to know is what was it like for Kaylee to actually play Elena? A diehard fan herself, Kaylee said that it felt like a lot of weight on her shoulders and that she was actually very terrified. They let me play Elena Gilbert in the musical episode, which was like a huge thing when I read that in the script. I was like, no. <laughs> in the end, it's safe to say it all turned out super well, and Kaylee said she'd forever be grateful for the opportunity. Both talented and humble, it seems Kaylee has it all. But she's not the only one with a trick or two up her sleeve. We'll take a look at her on screen twin, Jenny Boyd, in a second. Chris Deshaun Lee Damon is my favorite character in the Vampire Diaries. Hello, brother. And I get to play Damon, and I'm so happy. Chris Deshaun Lee plays Caleb on Legacies, and that's not the only reason he might look familiar. If he does, it's probably because he's been in one of the hottest musicals to date. Chris was cast in dual roles as Thomas Jefferson and Marquis de Lafayette in the Chicago production Hamilton, and he also went on tour with the show in 2018. That's right, Chris has been exercising his vocals long before he took on the Legacies musical episode. In 2018, he released an album titled In My Feelings, which is currently available on most music streaming services, and it's exactly because of this that Ben was so excited to share a booth with Chris. The best scene in the show, <laughs> in the episode, is me and this guy. So I'm Damon. <laughs> and I'm playing I'm Devin Salvatore. And, and they wrote a, an amazing duet. But how did he get into singing in musical theater in the first place? Chris decided to pursue his love for singing in university, and it was there where he got his big break on the Chicago stage. Being able to play Caleb on Legacies has been an absolute dream come true for Chris, and after filming the musical episode, he admitted to how much he loved being able to blend his two passions, acting and singing, together again. It's so good. It's so good. I mean, I'm extremely biased, but it's really, really good, and I'm really excited to... Much like Kaylee and Ben, Chris said that filming the musical episode was a lot of fun and he especially loved how different it was. Despite the concept of musical episodes having been done on other shows, Chris claims that Legacies managed to execute it in a fresh and inventive way that the fans will absolutely love. What do you think? Is Chris right? Jenny Boyd from the choreography to the singing and everybody's numbers, it was a real blast. I mean, you knew all these people for real. Lizzie might not have been the star of the Legacies musical, but she might just have had the biggest scene-stealing moment throughout the entire episode. Lizzie really takes initiative in the casting process, so she, um, she has some engineering involved in that, and she ends up playing Caroline Forbes her surrogate mother. When all was said and done, Hope delivered a special note to her, bringing Lizzie a much-needed message from her mom, the one and only Caroline Forbes. It's a moment that many fans have been desperately hoping for, and one that will definitely affect Lizzie as she goes on in the show. Just like Lizzie, actress Jenny Boyd also experienced a roller coaster of emotions throughout the episode. For one thing, Jenny said she wasn't really used to singing in public, and she felt really vulnerable being among actors and actresses who've all been trained in musical theatre or who do music in their spare time. So, what did Jenny do to combat her vulnerability? As it turns out, she didn't have to do much at all. The biggest thing for her was to adjust her mindset. She had to acknowledge that she didn't have the same theatre-like voices as her co-stars, but more of a folky voice. Once she admitted this to herself, it made things easier when it came to rehearsing and picking out songs. Ultimately, Jenny said it couldn't have turned out better, with all the actors bringing something different to the table. While it definitely wasn't something she ever saw herself doing, and while she was still petrified about her voice going out there into the world for everyone to see, she really enjoyed the experience as a whole. It's a really fun episode. She might have stepped out of her comfort zone, but Jenny said that doesn't mean she's about to become the next Taylor Swift. 
If anything, the singing was just something extra in her mind. Of the entire episode, the thing Jenny enjoyed the most was the dancing. Since they'd already started doing the choreography before the lockdown, she enjoyed being able to practice at home throughout the year. It's super vulnerable for sure, she said. It's a little scary knowing that it's going to be out there forevermore for the whole world to see. It's really a nerve-wracking thing. But it's only through doing things that you're scared of that you become a better, stronger you, right? What do you think? Did you ever think the actors were all really singing? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.